God is good. <laughs> oh, man. Before I pray for Pastor Sean, just sense, Lord, your mercy. Um, a prophetic word that God Come is on. speaking. So I just want to deliver it in faith. For the Lord would say, my children, many of you are at your crossroads. You have tried everything in your power and it has not worked. Know that even as I deliver the children of Israel, I am delivering you, says the Lord. There are many things that you've tried and have not worked. Some of them I have even frustrated myself, says the Lord. I have brought you to this place to show you a new thing. It is springing up. Perceive it, says the Lord. For I am bringing you into the greatest season of your life. As you trust me, you will see doors open. And these doors have no doorknobs on them. Even as you would lean in and they would open, says the Lord. This is what I'm doing for you because you are obeying my voice. Yeah. Know as you continue to follow me, things that have seemed upside down will be turned right side up. Only I will bring things to pass, says the Lord. For I have taken many things out of your hand on purpose. For many of you thought it was in your control. But remember, everything is in my control, says the Lord. For I am moving in a way you have not experienced before. Even as Joshua had to cross the Jordan, it was a place not even Moses had to do. Know that I am bringing you into the greatest season of harvest. For you sowed in tears, I, you will reap in joy, says the Lord. And there are going to be many doors that open to you. For the Lord say, do not rush into them. I will show you what door to go in and when. You will be so abundant in what you're doing that others will come and see. Do not forget me, says the Lord, when your belly is full and when you are satisfied. For no, I am bringing you into this abundance, not just for you, but for others, you will be a wealth distribution center, says yeah, the Lord. Yeah. And as you are in abundance, do not forget the years of famine. Because if you forget them, says the Lord, you will find yourself back in them. For I am sending you here and there, but specifically have sent you here. For there is a work I'm doing here in this city. Yeah. It is a work that is expanding. It is a work of abundance. And I am bringing here people here on purpose. No, I have planted you here early. For in the next four years, you will see an expansion like you've never be seen before. Many will say, what is in this place that people are moving here? No, it is my glory that is drawing people. For there is a wealth that no eye has seen yet. But I have parked it here, says the Lord. And there will be my glory that will be evident for all to see. Do not forget me, says the Lord, for I have bought you in this season, have bought you out of famine. Know that it is my hand that has done this thing. Wow. So, Lord, I thank you for the gift of prophecy. Thank you, God. It is in Scripture, 1 Corinthians 12 and 14. God, we ask, Lord, that you would confirm your word. For you said, out of the mouth of two to three witnesses, let my word be established. And I thank you, the key word in this prophetic word was our obedience. So Lord, I thank you for revealing to us what you want us to do. And in our obedience, you are unlocking these doors, God. These doors that we have not tried to tear down. But Lord, now they're just going to open because you have said so. So we thank you, Father, for what you're doing. Bless these people, I ask. And Lord, we make a covenant today not to forget you. For you, it is you who gives us the power to get wealth. But the rest of that verse is to establish your covenant on this earth. So I thank you for the covenant that you've given each and every one of us to advance your kingdom in every area of our life. We thank you for it, Lord. Confirm your word, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.